Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video, I will be making a um, wreath and uh, it will be basically of uh, all the leaves of different shades. And there will be very uh, small flowers here and there. But mostly, I will also talk about how to do layering of colors. So, I have my uh, Bristol watercolor, Bristol uh, mop brushes, uh, round brushes in size 0 and in size 4. Along with that, I have a Bristol watercolor on my palette. And then I have this plate and water uh, and paper towel with me. So I am all ready to go. So let's get started. I have used this plate from my kitchen to make the circle. And I'll just uh, mark around the circumference of this plate uh, to make the circle. And now this is it. Very easy without using any compass or <laughs> compass. So that's all. Now I will sketch my um, out uh, appearance how the wreath will look uh, on my sketch uh, book so i am thinking to make a circle and uh, then i will place the leaves all over uh, in the circumference of the circle and uh, along with that i will make uh, the extended leaves uh, i mean a bunch uh, of leaves um, diagonally uh, here and um, one side of the circle and then diagonally on the other side so uh, there will be uh, leaves uh, like this the this time making uh, bigger and thicker leaves uh, not very pointed and sharp some leaves are rounded uh, and some are uh, having a little you know pointed uh, that's it and then i'll also extend uh, the leaves uh, like uh, on one side of the circle and then uh, the leaves will be uh, the same will be you know replicated uh, diagonally uh, so that's all uh, about it and also I'll make the leaves around the circle and some little flowers uh, here and there not very fancy because this time I will do uh, the, the leaves in different shades and basically i will be um, i'll be talking about the layering of uh, different leaves and how we can use the color tones um, lighter and then dark that you will see in a watch in the video later so i have picked all the four greens uh, from my uh, palette from my brush row all uh, color tubes and um, i have my tallow green deep green uh, sap green uh, and light green with me so first of all i will take uh, the tallow green with me and um, this is the sap green uh, that i will be using and then i'll mix a lot of chinese white uh, into that and i'm here using chinese white from the brand camel uh, i had titanium white with me but uh, this time i'm using chinese white so I am kind of just uh, giving a mix and uh, watching how this color will turn. And this is in a very light and pastel uh, sea green kind of color. And then I will start making the leaves using this color. So I'm using my size zero brush uh, to make the leaves. And you, see, you can see I have chosen the lightest shade of the color. Uh, the technique is that we will first pick the light colors, uh, light shades of green and uh, we'll make the leaves all around and then we'll pick the darker shades and uh, we'll paint uh, onto the light colored leaves. So you can see that I am um, making the leaves here and there. Um, uh, using the uh, this uh, light shade Give us a chance. 
So once I'm done uh, with this color, I will uh, I will take sap green and uh, mix it with uh, some yellow, and then we'll have a very light shade of uh, you know a lemon green color. And uh, what I'm doing, I'm just mixing it uh, with uh, some yellow ochre. Uh, I actually, I had this yellow ochre on my palette already, so I have just you know mixed it with uh, the uh, mixer with the the sap green. So this is the color that we had. So I'll start with uh, painting another uh, set of leaves uh, using this color. This technique is that um, when you are done with the first uh, first round of the leaves, that you have to wait for the leaves to uh, to get dried. And when you are doing the second layering, you can only do the second layering on the dried leaves. Make sure they are very dry, and they otherwise they'll get mixed. Both the colors will get mixed. If they are not dry, they are wet, and it will look very odd, and uh, things will be very messed up. Now, uh, the third set will be of the color uh, sap green and lemon green. I am mixing, and uh, here we have a bright color, uh, bright color of green. Uh, the se the second layers were of uh, some dusty green because I have uh, used uh, yellow ochre that will have a dusty tone. But in this time, I'm using lemon yellow so that it will have a brighter tone as compared to the um, previous one. So. I, I'll just start uh, making the third layer but for that I have to wait for some time uh, till this uh, is completely dried. After this is completely dried, I'll use the third layer on this and I'll make um, the leaves uh, overlapping each other like filling the um, uh, parts which are uh, vacant, uh, which are so kind of filling the um, you know white gaps in between and then putting the leaves, uh, painting the leaves here and there. You can always you can always uh, overlap the leaves like that and this is the technique that I was talking about that when you have to overlap the, uh, the leaves or flowers or uh, when you're doing a composition like that you have to first wait for these um, the first layer to get dry and then only then you can uh, paint on the second one and uh, here uh, you can also kind of overlap uh, the leaves uh, onto each other uh, it just it looks very you know filling and uh, very bunch like bunchy leaves very <laughs> what do I say uh, I mean very uh, crowded and um, you know bushy yeah so that's the word like so you just have to fill the uh, leaves like that
now I am extending the corner leaves and again I am using the first layer of the color and uh, that we made uh, using tallow green and uh, and white so I have made this first layer here and I'll extend again make the second layer and the third layer uh, in the same way Almost three layers are done. Uh, and now I am choosing a dark, darkest tone, and uh, here I have mixed deep green with black, and I'll do the final layering with this color. Now I am doing, I'm done with the leaves and I'll just uh, make uh, here and there some flowers and for that I have chose uh, some uh, rose color and mixed with yellow and some orange. Uh, that's it. I don't make much of the flowers because this is, I think this was all about the uh, leaves. So I'm just making a few uh, petals um, onto the uh, leaves and here and there. That's it. Moving to the end part uh, where we will make the stem uh, or the twigs that uh, on which we of leaves are um, you know are being rounded or are being laid on so that's um, it and we I am using uh, burnt umber uh, to do this so that's the final thing that I will do
So this is the final piece. I have written Alhamdulillah. You can write your own quotations. Um, uh, I hope you will learn something new and enjoy this video. Please like uh, this video and uh, share with your friends. Subscribe my channel. Meet you in the next video inshallah. Till then Allah Hafiz.